I'll now discuss what is the open flow protocol because I mentioned in the architecture that um, this is the protocol used in the southbound layer where the controller communicates with your forwarding switches. The open flow protocol is um, a multi-vendor standard defined by the Open Networking Foundation. Okay, this is a protocol used, or this is one of the protocols, in fact, to you um, used for implementing software-defined networking. Okay, it defines the interface between an open flow controller and an open flow switch. For you to have open flow, of course, the devices, both the controller and the forwarding switch, needs to support it. And our and based on industry standards, the majority of of um, network providers that we have right now, say the likes of say Ericsson, Nokia, Huawei, in the Chinese, no? um, Dell, they are also providing even Cisco. Um, most of them, if not all, no, already support OpenFlow as its protocol. It may not be their de facto protocol to implement SDN because there are also some who use proprietary protocols, but nevertheless, they still support it no, with regards to openness in general. Okay, now it allows the open flow controller to instruct the open flow switches on how to handle incoming data packets. Okay, now um, the open how you implement now open flow in the network no, um, would now depend on the compatibility of your devices, both in the control plane and in the data plane. Now. For you to have open flow, you also need to implement it in an architecture. No? So the open flow network architecture consists of three layers. Arguably, it is similar to the SPN architecture wherein you have the application plane, the control plane, and the data plane. Now, the open flow architecture is like an actualization of the network of the SDN architecture. And the actualization here is that, uh, what I mean is that think of the SDN architecture sort of like a high-level framework that whoever wants to implement SDN can use this as a standard template. Okay, if you want now to implement OpenFlow, okay, as, a, as an SDN um, protocol, it is a like for like or nearly identical implementation wherein the SDN controller should have the open flow controller enabled and the forwarding switches should have the open flow protocol implemented. Okay, the open flow controller maintains the open flow protocols communication channels to the open flow switches and it maintains a local state graph of the open flow switches and exposes a northbound API to the open flow application. Now, um, just to give you, um, again, no perspectives, no? north or northbound here pertains to the open flow controller, yung communication ng controller plane papunta sa application plane. Whereas yung southbound naman niya is, of course, yung pababa from controller papunta sa forwarding switches. Okay, so the northbound API may be viewed as an abstraction of the network and allows the open flow applications to read the state of the network and to instruct the network to perform various tasks. Okay, so now you'll notice here also that applications, if say they want to take or they want to utilize now the SDN environment, they can do so through the open flow um, protocol. Okay, either enabled via an API or called via an API. Okay. Now, let's go inside the um, open flow switch and see what are its logical parts. Now, of course, just to again, just to set expectations. No, if you try to open an open, if you try to open um, a forwarding switch, you won't be seeing these components as physical components of the. Okay, so this is more of like a logical representation of that switch. Okay, so an open flow logical switch contains what's called the flow tables, okay, a group table, and open flow channels. So based on the diagram here, by the way, you know, the diagrams that I have shown here, this is also taken from by standards. Um, specifically for this one, this I got this directly from opennetworking.org. 
Okay. So based on their definition of what a open flow logic switch would look like, no? it would contain a group table, flow tables. So later on, I'll discuss what a flow what flow tables are channels and these channels communicate to your controllers and of course you have your metering this is for monitoring your kpis or key quality indexes and kpis key performance indexes for each for for that switch as well as the logical points okay now using the open flow switch protocol the controller can add update and delete flow entries in flow tables both reactively and ideally proactively Okay. Remember what I said a while ago that the controller is responsible for propagating the configurations needed by the open flow switch to forward packets. Those configurations are actually stored logically you know, in the open flow channels of your open flow switch. Okay. So um, more details pa, no, about open flow before I discuss what virtualization is. No? Um, if I were to to give you a generalized ano, a generalized definitions of these three, of these components, no? um, open flow channels. This is the element responsible for communicating or for receiving the configurations. Uh, propagated by the controller through the open flow protocol. You know? These open flow channels are then processed by the switch. You know? It uses now group tables and meter tables, which are essentially tables used to keep track of packets forwarded by the switch. The flow tables themselves contain the actual packets. Okay, kaya siya tinawag din na flow table. And you'll notice that um, a given open flow switch can contain more than one open flow channel and more than one flow table, but it can only have one group table and one meter table. Okay, the group table and the meter table, these are logical um, tables responsible for keeping track of packets being um, forwarded, whereas the flow table contains the actual packets being forwarded. I hope that makes sense, no? So, ganun po siya. 